Hey everybody, this is TJR. It's time to talk about the latest album by Beck entitled Hyperspace. Now, if you've followed this channel before and heard me talk about Beck, uh, you know that I'm a big fan. I have gotten every single album of his since his debut album, Mellow Gold, back in the 90s. Beck is one of those artists that always makes me, from time to time, reassess what defines pop music, and very few artists do that for me. And of course, if you do follow this channel, you know that I did not react too well to the first advanced single from this album entitled Saw Lightning. But at the time, I did mention that perhaps my opinion about the track might change after I hear it within the context of the rest of the album. So I thought I would take care of this elephant in the room first and address that first. And did it change my opinion? Unfortunately, no, it did not. Which is a shame, because Saw Lightning, I think, starts really good. It's, I think it's upbeat and catchy when it starts, but then it just gets too repetitious. It's incredibly too minimalistic, and for that reason, it's just boring. It gets boring very, very quick. Okay, you know, so not every track can be great. Let's see about the rest of the album. How does the rest of the album hold up? Well, I have some very mixed feelings about this album, which is not to say that I disliked it. By the way, if you haven't seen it before, I do want to recommend my video where I examined why I did not like Saw Lightning, why it didn't work for me, and I go into musical detail. Even if you did like this track, I think you might find my examination, at the very least, interesting. So the album opens with a wonderful, blissful bit of synth pop entitled Hyperlife. I really enjoyed this opening track, and unfortunately it just ended too soon. If I could have been there in the producer's chair, I would have said, you need to make this track at least twice as long as it is. I also enjoyed the track that followed it, entitled Uneventful Days. Although its main loop reminded me a lot of the Phil Collins song, Take Me Home. Uh, with that said, though, these songs are tonally quite different, both musically and lyrically. Track three, of course, was the aforementioned Saw Lightning. I've already talked about that. Now, it's on track four, uh, a song entitled Die Waiting, where Beck starts to embrace a number of what I feel are really overused and tired modern-day pop cliches. Sometimes these embraces work better than others. 52 seconds into Die Waiting, Beck embraces the da 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 melody that, you know, I hear on way too many of these contemporary pop songs. And at the 2 minutes and 44 second mark, he embraces that da 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 which I hear once again on a lot of contemporary pop songs. Uh, and that melody is just so derivative of how when we were kids, if we wanted to mock someone, we'd go, na 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 Very similar to that. I'd almost rather hear that than that na 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 It's not a bad melody. It's just too overused. This is followed by the song Chemical, which is about reducing love to a chemical reaction. It's got some pretty good lyrics and a pretty good concept going behind it. And the song itself is pretty good melodically too. But then about two minutes and 24 seconds in, he embraces this uh, very staccato rap cliche that I hear on a lot of rap songs, a lot of modern pop songs that goes kind of, like I said, once again, another uh, cliche that's just way too overused. I want to state again, these two songs that I've just mentioned, they're not bad songs. They're pretty good. But when I hear these melody cliches inserted into these songs, it annoys me. I keep asking, couldn't you think of something else to do here? than just embrace one of these very tired current cliches? Now, I don't know, maybe it's just me. There was one critic whom I read online who brought up the same thing that I'm bringing up, that there are certain modern cliches that he uses in these songs. And his personal feeling was that Beck makes these cliches seem 
disoriented, uh, surrounded by his own pop aesthetics. To me, it just feels kind of like someone said to him, hey, you want to get a song on the radio? Okay, put this on your song. Trust me, you'll get on the radio. And once again, it's frustrating for me because I feel that he can be more original than this. In fact, I know he can be more original than this. And that's because also there are some really strong original songs on this album. There's the song Hyperspace, which is a more driven version of Hyperlife. Stratosphere, another great track, is a delicious spacey ballad. Uh, Dark Places is a really trippy exploration of loss. And on the track Star, uh, Beck shows that he can embrace modernism without embracing cliché and create very cool beat-driven songs. The album closes with Everlasting Nothing, which is beautifully meditative and melancholy on the inevitable passing of time. And it's because these other tracks are so original sounding that I find it frustrating to hear him using, once again, what I describe as tired modern pop cliches on tracks like Chemical, Die Waiting, and See Through. When I look at the album's credits, I think to myself, well, maybe Pharrell just isn't the right producer for Beck, or maybe he just wasn't the right producer for this particular fan. And as I say this, I realize that there are probably a lot of listeners out there who like the very things that I dislike about this album. But again, I want to stress, I do not hate or dislike this album. I think there are some really good songs on the album. I think there are songs that show potential to also be really good, but they never quite get there for a lot of the reasons that I've already stated. Like I said earlier, I've picked up every single Beck album that's ever come out. I will probably pick this one up at some point in time. I just don't feel that strong of a rush to go out and get it. And while in time my opinion of the album might change, this has happened to me before, for now, this is probably going to be my least favorite Beck album, which is not to say that I don't like it. It just means I'm not as excited about it as I have been with previous albums. So those are my thoughts. Please share yours. I want to know what you think, whether you agree with me or disagree with me. Uh, please let me know. I want to hear what your thoughts are on the album. In fact, especially if you disagree with me, uh, please make your case. Let me know if maybe I'm just looking at this the wrong way. As always, be respectful in your comments. If all you do is troll, you're probably just going to be ignored and you could even be deleted. As always, if you like what I'm doing, be sure to click like, click subscribe, and smash that notifications icon so you can know when I release new videos. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.